I hope you're having a good day. Before I talk about <clears throat> natural structured water that you can make, it's inexpensive and practically, practically the easiest thing to make. And it has so many health benefits when it comes from energizing you to hydrating you to providing you with the right mineral balance in the human body to making your body alkaline with nourishment. We need to change our mindset because, you know, there are a lot of videos that we keep doing, but we need to understand exactly what the purpose of holistic health is. You see, everything today is becoming a fad. Let me give you an example. Everyone's talking about alkaline and everyone's buying alkaline water and all of these things because they believe that if we make the body alkaline, all our health problems disappear. Well, it's good to have an alkaline body at the right time. So for example, when you're digesting food, you want to have an extremely acidic stomach because if you have an alkaline stomach, you're not going to be digesting your food, assimilating nutrition from your food. So we have to understand that alkaline is good, but alkaline with nourishment is even better. There's no point having an alkaline body that is not nourished. It just doesn't work because when we make the body alkaline, we also need to make sure that trillions of cells are able to absorb the nutrition that we put into the human body. The same way with exercise. <clears throat> Everyone knows that exercise is great and yet there are so many people over-exercising and it's become a fad and people are doing all these fancy exercises not realizing that it's a big fad. The body needs movement, of course, unless you're an athlete and you have a particular goal in the way that you want to look. But then if you're exercising, you need to match your nutrition to the kind of exercise you do. People are exercising more and eating less, trying to create a deficient they lose a little bit of weight and then they cripple their metabolism. And that's why they put all that weight back on or it's becoming so frustrating because think about it, it's that simple. If it was about exercise, if it was about nutrition, the right amount of stress and your sleep, you should allow the human body to lose weight and get healthy. It shouldn't have to be our priority in life. We should be able to, to, to give the human body a little bit of what it needs and the human body should be able to provide us with the right kind of weight and the right amount of immunity. But everything's becoming a fad. Superfoods, the same foods that our ancestors grew and ate years ago, today has become a superfood which we pay so much more money for. And superfood, it's not doing any magic in your body. It has almost the same nutrition, maybe a little more protein, a little more, more omega-3. So whatever's the new buzzword in the market, if it's fiber, then any food that has a fiber which can be highly priced becomes a superfood. Again, a fad. <clears throat> Everything's becoming a fad, including spirituality. Everyone's jumping from one chanting class to another. I'm not saying don't do it. Stay on your part of spirituality. But there's no point in doing yoga and chanting if you cannot take the learnings of your yoga class and your meditation class and your chanting class and apply it when you really have a stressful situation in your day. Waste of time, fad. So we got to change our mindsets when it comes to the way we want to make holistic health work for us. I do a lot of videos, come up with a lot of concoctions and everyone wonders, how can I get all those concoctions in my life? You don't have to. You have to understand the purpose behind a concoction or a recipe and you got to look at your life. If you have a gap and you feel that's going to fill your life, fill that gap with it. You don't have to do everything. There are thousands of herbs out there and all of them have fantastic health benefits. It doesn't mean we find a way to get thousands of herbs into our diet. We take what we need according to our life, our health and our goal. So when it comes to structured water, today it takes two ingredients to make structured water. Water is something that we should all be having enough of. Even drinking water has become a fad. People guzzle down four, five, six liters, not understanding it's not making you healthier. It's flushing out electrolytes from your system. It's flushing out minerals from your system. You need a balance. There's something called osmotic cellular pressure in the human body. It requires the right balance of water, salt, minerals. Nature has balance. We need balance. So by going to extremes when it comes to diets is not the way to live and get healthy. So when it comes to structured water, number one, too many people are drinking less water. I can't tell you how many people I see in a day and they're drinking about three to four glasses of water. And if they only change that, most of the health problems will fall into place because our muscles, our cells, all of them are made up of water. So even a 1% drop of water in the human body will compromise over a thousand different functions in your brain, your liver, your heart, your kidney, your cells, your metabolism, everything everything and then we take all these fads thinking it's going to fix us where all you need is to fix a mineral deficiency the amount of water that you have maybe your recovery and your rest the little things that nature has given us if we have it in the right way we're healthy 
My favorite doctor, Dr. Linus Pauling, who won two Nobel Prizes, always said that you can have, you can trace every disease and every sickness to a mineral deficiency in the human body. But look at our medical system today. We look at everything but a deficiency. We become so great at talking about what's wrong in the human body, fancy screenings, we can tell lesions and cysts and all of that stuff, but no one's looking at correcting deficiencies. I can't tell you how many patients come in their fourth stage of cancer, arthritis, diabetes, autoimmune disorders. And when I'm looking through their reports, they have constant low vitamin D3. I'm talking as low as under 10, which is critically low. No one's looked at filling that deficiency. We look at people with low B12 over the years and then we wonder how they have, defici how they have Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, neurological disorders memory loss, fatigue. All you need to do is correct that deficiency of a mineral or vitamin and the human body gets the energy it needs, the food it needs to perform the functions that no doctor, no nutritionist or scientist has yet understood. Immunity. How do you make this water? <clears throat> you have two ingredients, lemon and pink salt. Now lemon, we all know the benefits of lemon. There are some people who are allergic to lemon. There are some people who still live with the myth that lemon is going to cause a deterioration of their bones and arthritis. It doesn't cause your arthritis. An autoimmune disorder and a leaky gut causes your arthritis in most cases. Lemon is highly alkaline in the human body. It's one of the richest sources of vitamin C. What does vitamin C do? It boosts immunity. It boosts cellular energy and cellular function. If you are deficient in vitamin C, you have low immunity. No amount of whatever you do is going to boost your immunity unless you have vitamin C in your body. You don't have to jump into vitamins and minerals and synthetic supplements. You can get vitamin C from fruits, vegetables, and so many other products. Vitamin C is detoxifying to the human body, especially the liver. If you want to regenerate your liver enzymes, you want to drop your SGOT or your SGPT, having lemon is a natural detoxifier to the liver. Lemon is rich in citric acid, which is a cleanser to the kidney. It has the ability to break down kidney stones as well, depending on how far your kidney stones are progressed. So when you mix lemon and water and pink salt, pink salt is a natural detoxifier. It relaxes muscle spasms. So when a lot of people wake up with cramps in their thighs and cramps in their calves, sometimes just giving them the right amount of mineral salt, which is pink salt, can reduce those cramps. Because the moment we have a deficiency, even the slightest deficiency of electrolytes like salt and sodium in the human body, our muscles start getting into a spasm. It also balances pressure. Now you'd be saying, how can salt balance pressure? Salt causes high blood pressure. It does. The wrong salt. The white refined salt that you have, which is stripped of all of its minerals, <clears throat> all of the goodness. That is why white salt causes weight gain, irritation to the gut, high blood pressure, and all of that stuff. You cannot compare artificial with nature. Your white salt, your iodized white salt is nothing but synthetic trash. You have iodine even in pink salt. Pink salt has over 85 trace minerals from selenium to iron to phosphorus to zinc to boron to iodine, everything that every organ and cell in the human body requires. And this is what our ancestors had. They had rock salt, they had pink salt, they had all of these things. And we moved to iodized salt, yes, at the right time when there was something called goiter in India. But goiter disappeared, we didn't change our salt. We needed more iodine at that point. People who have poor lifestyles do not absorb iodine. And because they have an iodine deficiency, they get thyroid problems and goiter. So we need to go back to natural salt. Salt is required by the human body. Try going salt free and you'll find that your kidneys eventually start shutting down. We need sodium, we need potassium, we need electrolytes. All of this for electrolyte function, for energy, heart function, brain function, in the right balance. So when you try to cut down salt to improve your blood pressure, it's not going to help you in any way. Change your salt. When you move to pink salt, you can have the right quantity without having to cut it down and still, in fact, balance your blood pressure even better. Thyroid gland as well, because pink salt has natural iodine, unlike synthetic iodine, which is found in iodized salt. And that little iodine is enough to boost your thyroid function. Balancing hormones. What balances hormones in the human body? electrolytes, sodium, potassium. When you have the right communication between your cells, you have the right hormonal balance and that can be found in salt as well. The most important thing, which is very close to my heart, digestion. 
Digestion is the most important function for me in the human body today because most people have a side effect of acidity, bloating, flatulence, indigestion, constipation, and all of these problems, which means poor digestion, period. If you're not celiac and you're not gluten or, or milk intolerance and you still cannot tolerate these foods, you have a poor digestive system. Just removing wheat and milk is not your solution. That's a symptomatic approach. You remove it, you feel better, obviously, but you still have a digestive problem. Now, salt mixed with water, when you have this, it generates enzymes in your body, digestive enzymes that helps you digest and break down food. You have different enzymes for different functions. Different enzymes break down carbohydrates, proteins, fats, fiber in the human body and feed your good bacteria. So now, how do you make this water? It's simple. In a one liter bottle of water in the morning, you can squeeze one lemon and you can add a teaspoon of pink salt. If you find it too salty, make it a little bit less. You can best have this warm. It's going to be detoxifying for you in the human body. This is absolutely refreshing, especially people who work out. When their muscles start getting tired or they lose their stamina and endurance, that's because water's fallen and salt, water le salt levels are fallen. So the more you sweat, the more you need to hydrate. So this big becomes a perfect pre-workout and a perfect recovery drink as well. It's loaded with minerals. It's loaded with everything to keep your immunity high. So this is something that I call natural structured water. Forget about spending money on all these costly alkaline machines and all of that stuff because there is no organism on the planet that requires a pH of more than 8. And we're trying to get to pH levels of 9, 10, 11, 12, thinking it's going to kill your cancer cells. Alkaline water will not kill your cancer cells alone. Cancer is multifactorial. You have to look at digestion, inflammation, toxicity, so many things. Just taking alkaline water in desperation is not going to shift. The best thing for alkaline water, if you've already got that machine and spent a lot of money on it, use it for your face. It's highly hydrating for your face. Consuming it is absolutely not necessary. We spoke about storing water in a mud pot, in a clay pot, and your alkaline level of that water jumps by two points anyway. So it's about having alkaline water, not very, very, very alkaline water. So this structured water, I usually fill two liters in the morning. So I have some of it in the morning and I have some of it during my day. Keeps me hydrated, keeps me energized. You may want to try this as well. Do not worry about your high blood pressure unless your pressure is really, really high and you're on a lot of medication. But I can promise you one thing. Artificial salt and pink salt are two very different things. Pink salt does not closely behave as bad as white iodized refined salt will do to the human body. So we got to start getting back to nature. You can structure this water. It's good for your kids. It's good for you. It's good for senior citizens as well. It'll give them that energy boost. Again, do not overdo it because excess of anything, including lemon, including pink salt, including water, including pumpkin seeds, green tea, whatever, is detrimental to the human body. Remember balance. Remember moderation. Have a good evening, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.